Alright guys, so welcome back to my channel. Really quick, I'm going to make a short video about this. So yesterday I found out that they had the body cam released footage. And I'm about to watch it now and kind of like react to it and see how it is. And explain a little bit. And then that's going to be it for the video. I just want to give you guys that little sense of what they filmed, I filmed, put it together, and uh, all that. So let's get into watching that video and then I'll talk about it. Wow, this video shows exactly how Officer Richard Nelson was shot. You can see that he was just inches away from the suspect when the gun was pulled, and then officers had to quickly retreat. And sometimes officers have barely a few seconds to react to what they are seeing. That was, of course, the case in this situation. Fox News' Miguel Martinez Valle walks us through how all this started before the exchange of gunfire. Why? Because we're trying to figure out what's going on while you're sitting here and stuff like that and we're getting called on you. So, okay, well, I'll just ask you to step up, man. Police tell us they had already been talking to 25-year-old Miguel Salas for some time before they asked him to step out of the car. They say he tried to start the car twice, he couldn't find his ID, and he kept asking why he was being asked to get out. Officer Nelson and his partner on opposite sides of the truck. At one point, the second officer comes around to the same side as Officer Nelson. Silas continuously refuses to come out of the car. We can't see in the video, but somehow he acquires his gun. Then this happened. <laughs> Silas fired nine rounds at the police. One of those hit Officer Nelson. I talked to both of them today. Uh, they're, they're doing extremely well. Uh, Officer Nelson was doing very well talking to him on the phone. He's just uh, glad that this is behind him. He's, he's, he, uh, there's been an out going uh, amount of support internally and externally he's really thankful the assistant sheriff tells us officer nelson is back home with his family he's doing okay the other officer was also struck on his tool belt he wasn't injured Sonas died from a police gunshot wound to the head robertson says it's concerning for him to watch these but he thinks it's important for police to watch the body cam videos over and over again and learn from what happened miguel martinez valle fox 5 news local las vegas there have been 15 officer-involved shootings so far this year, and seven of them have been deadly. So, as you guys see in that video, that, uh, as I said before, the body cam is like a GoPro. You, you see a decent, good, you know, picture, but at the same time, it's still very shaky, very blurry, and on my side, I caught the other angle, which was, uh, better, too. So you see like a little bit more definition, but from both sides, you still see exactly what happened. And from the body cam footage, you can see better that he pulled the gun. But at the same time, in my footage, you can see him pull out a gun and then officers had to pull out their weapon. Um, it's sad to see someone uh, pass away in front of you and also all the events that happened to it um, not really much else to say just really wanted to say like I wish it could have ended a whole different way but I mean um, life is um, it's hard and it's different and sometimes it just doesn't go the way you want it to or the way it should be planned to go but I mean not really sure what to say, but as you guys can see, that video is on Fox 5 for the body cam footage and probably also on every other news network. So if you guys want to watch it, just pull up like Vegas shooting body cam and that like will be one of the options to just see the whole footage and all that. Um, well, I hope people don't do that and pull guns on cops but i mean i know it's still gonna happen but i mean i keep saying but i mean it's so weird um i hope it doesn't happen a lot more because it's been happening quite a bit i hope it does stop or at least goes a little bit down um a lot of people will start criticizing and i know that you would do that but at the same time it's like you have to look at both sides not one side everybody looks at one side and not two sides so it's like it's kind of, it's kind of weird they look at like 
the cop side versus the criminal side or the criminal side versus the cop. Like, they just, they just, they judge so much. And it's, it's like, it sucks to see, like, so many people judge so much off of such little evidence. The moment when you have all evidence, it's all, like, shown, even in, like, camera video, then you know when to see. Because camera does not lie. Camera does not lie at all. So, um, there's no way to, like lie and like edit that because it's like that's not even like editable but that actually happened in real life i witnessed it um yeah so that all happened i just wanted to let you guys know that and uh show you guys that video that that happened and um i hope it doesn't happen again but i, I know it's gonna happen again but at least not so much because it has been happening quite a bit and it sucks to see uh, that happened because I mean it's easier just to comply rather than going one like a shootout because I mean mostly 99.9% .9 of the time you're gonna lose 1% some people win some people yeah but most of the time you're gonna lose you, you, you gotta see police like they're big so their size of their like groups and all that stuff it's it's very very big so not many people are going to win against that but i mean they have like a lot of training they they go through a lot just to be a police officer so i mean i i see both sides of the story it's at the same time it's like it's not worth it if it's like stealing something you just get a felony and just be over with it live like don't even like waste your life for that or at least like try to get away from it because it's hard to get away from it but at the same time it's like it's not even worth it to like go through all of that because you're putting people's life in danger you're making your family members your friends um all types of people work friends you know like all types of people homies and everybody you know they just have to go through that they're missing you and you're not going to be there anymore to support them on any way that you were supporting them so it really sucks that way but i mean it's life and it happens so which sucks but uh yeah, just want to tell you guys that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, vlog should be out probably today or tomorrow. So, yeah. And uh, if you're new, subscribe and like the video, share it, and uh, I will see you all tomorrow. Peace out.